Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, why would I put this? All right, right here. Oh yeah, don't forget these. Let's put that right there. All right, what's up everyone? Just wanted to make this, uh, I guess, I guess this is another journal because uh, this is involving with the update and the follow-up of what was going on with my situation with the House of Rags. Um, boy, do I have some words to say about uh, what was going on and after the fact. But I wanted to say that uh, the, the guys or the crew at House of Rags have been doing a really good job and very have been very uh, accommodating uh, for me and to me, rather. Um, so shout outs to Eddie Colon, Jamie the Cleaner, and everyone else working at House of, um, the House of Rags, um, you know, to make sure that everyone is uh, accommodated or treated right. And, um, you know, that includes me, um, I guess, um, kind of recently, right? So to kind of like summarize what was going on, basically I ordered three, three things, including the um, clean rinseless wash and shampoo. Uh, the very first one was the Detail Co stuff. There's many more, uh, it's like on the bottom or something. Anyway, including the Nemesis, the shampoo, the neutral shampoo or soft wash, um, the iron remover, and then um, the spray sealant, which is the uh, infinity spray sealant. And then, and then that includes Nemesis. So yeah, four items. Uh, that one that went pretty relatively smoothly after the fact. Uh, I contacted customer service. They resent it. It came in the mail. That was fine. The uh, spray sealant from Clean, that was the second order. That didn't go well. Um, you know, I was told it was going to be resent one or two days later. I didn't get anything. I tried to ask. Another person showed up and they were just like, Oh, uh, it's um, your package is being resent back to the center location. I was like, yeah, I'm aware of that, but that's not what I was, you know, um, trying to get get at. You know, I was wondering where is my resent spray sealant, and then so they're 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 going to um, give me the gallon because that was only that was the only thing available, and then basically I um, went ahead and refunded it. But then for some reason it was a partial refund, like the shipping part was not uh including the refunds so i was like hmm but um along the way i was like yeah you know what screw it i'll just get the the gallon right here <laughs> which is here by the way um but then eddie cologne stepped in at one point and he said no this is this is not right you know uh, we'll treat we'll, we'll treat you right just like how everyone else was treated and uh the, he went e even as far as having the um gallon spray sealant on the house, so I really want to thank him for that. I did not expect that at all. I was, um, you know, it was completely out of left, left field, and um, I, I was definitely uh, very grateful for that. And not only that, of course, um, the order for the uh, shampoo and the clean uh, rinseless got a resent as back as well. So that was order number three or strike number three, um, and then of course Eddie Cologne was very very accommodating. Um, having a recent once again, you know, um, and I just wanted to thank uh, Jamie and uh, Eddie getting out there. They uh, have been pretty active on the social media stuff, including YouTube. So, you know, f that's from my, from my, from, um, my understanding anyway. So again, I really wanted to um, again and again and again, I can't thank enough, thank them enough. And of course the crew, the rest of the crew for just fixing it, making sure that, you know, everyone's treated right. And, um, you know, I, I got my stuff, most importantly. So I'm a happy customer. And that is pretty much um, sort of what I wanted to get out of the way. <laughs> so, um, but there is a couple other things I wanted to uh, throw in here um, before I sign off. Um, I did get this uh, Elay. Garden host spray, you know. This is a, this is a journal, so you know me. I'm gonna I'm gonna you know blabber on about something, right? So, yeah, this is a really cool uh, garden host spray. 
you know, it's got the, the uh, it comes with, two, uh, it, uh, depending on what kind of bundle you get, it does come with two um, tips, right? And this is the fan. Um, I, I really do like the fact that um, you can go from the jet, 15 degrees and 30 degrees, and it swivel, actually. So that's actually pretty cool. You can have the option of going horizontal or vertical. So that's really nice. And yeah. Oh yeah, so I did clean my sister's car with the detail code stuff. I actually use all four of them, all four detail code stuff. Um, that video will be coming hopefully soon enough. Uh, I gotta get to that editing or get that edited and then, yeah. So uh, the only the other thing I wanted to throw in here for this journal is that um, because almost all, all the stuff is here uh, or mainly at least all, most of the stuff is here now that the clean um rinseless wash is definitely here the i i have the detail co rinseless wash and all the other um pre-existing uh well and well not all of all of rinseless washes on the market or anything but i have all the rinseless washes hold on let me let me wear that let me wear this right so i also have other rinseless washes that have been sitting in the garage for um a long time so i might as well include them in the video you know to get some sort of use out of them right <laughs> i guess in a way uh that all will be for a special video finally you know i i'm, I'm just waiting on one um big hint is it's the opt um the opticoat or optimum uh what was it hyperfoam was it, it it's the red one uh, i saw eddie cologne try it out I was like oh wow um that looks really interesting so i got um, pretty much this size bottle but with the hyperfoam so um, not only I have a 8 ounce representative for the O&R, right, version 5, but um, I, we will have the Hyper Foam in the mix as well. So we're going to have quite a lot of rinses washes to go through for the video, but I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. That's really what matters. And yeah. <laughs> so for the upcoming wash, uh, it'll be my car this time. It, it was going to be my car um last weekend but um i saw my sister's car and it was really dirty so i was like oh this is a pretty good opportunity so um i i used the detail co pretty much lineup kind of to um wash her car and it, it came um I, i'm gonna I'm, not, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, it came out great but um i'll have that again i'll have that video up hopefully soon enough so the next wash is my car which is a corolla and that will be getting the hybrid washing experience with the clean lineup. So I can get to experience that. Pretty happy with that. Um, and we'll proceed from there. Uh, and in fact, of course, they'll even get the, um, the rinseless, no, excuse me, the rinse off experience of the clean uh, ceramic spray sealant. So I definitely cannot wait for that um, for this weekend as well. <laughs> so um, last weekend was pretty fun with the detail code cleaning or washing. Now we're going to have the clean lineup kind of take up the, uh, you know, step up to the plate and clean my car because my car is pretty dirty as well because of all the fogging that's been going on in SoCal. There's just a lot of fog at night, all that dirt coming down, right, whenever the fog comes down. And it's, 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 it was quite dirty. So it is quite dirty. Right. So um, I, I, I've been also... Uh, I'll just throw this in here uh, for the last part. Uh, I've been working on, you know, kind of like refining my sort of uh, flow, right, of washing the car. Um, a little more on the sort of behind the scenes side of things. Uh, basically, I forgot that that side of the house, like the other side of the house, um, there is a little um, little alley, not alleyway, but you know what I mean, like the, the, the area between two houses, right? I've got that side has a spigot, right? Um, or, or whatever you call it, the hose spigot. So I'm going to put my hose uh, there and then wrap it around the, this side of the house, outside the house, and then it's gonna meet right there, meaning that I just have to, if I put uh, my pressure washer in that corner, I can just connect it and then have uh, um, instantly get to my pressure washer. And then I can just like essentially have a much quicker, um, and easier, uh, most importantly, of a time to set up my, you know, sort of uh, washing, right? So that'll be really good if, I, if, if that all 
plays out well because what I've been doing is getting the hose from over there. Uh, there's another hose over there or another sp uh, hose spigot over there outside and I have to go um, that way to get to the hose and you know um, drag it out and then <clears throat> plug it into my um, my water softener tank to uh, you know get most of them, uh, most of my bucket wash and everything and all that in between. So yeah, uh, that's been on my mind to kind of like uh, figure out how could I have you know uh, refine it, you know kind of you know really really like find the meta and stuff like that, and that's what I came up with. You know what's available with uh, with the house. Um, you know, I of course I do wish to have a spigot in the garage, and there is a way to do it, of course. But you know, um, it is a quite a bit of work, and I don't know if it'll even be worth it in the end. But we'll see. Um, but but uh, importantly, though, we got the hose wrapped around outside, and then uh, it is like literally sitting right in that corner over there outside, of course. So um, you know, when you open the garage door look down over there you'll definitely see that in the next uh, wash video so hopefully i'll uh, again uh, work on uh, that workout and all that stuff i'll definitely like com continue to refine that part and hell i may i may even have just two hoses just you know lying um around right or two hose setups lying around that way i don't know if, if i need to reach over there i can go over there um or if i need to reach over here i'll just um set it up over here more right because sometimes i like to have my car set more towards um the west side of the, of the driveway right uh more towards the sun when it's going down because the house the, the next door neighbor's house is right there and then there's a big old thing of shade so i can work in a shaded area right but you know um there are times where i would like to just use a pressure washer and stuff like that Meaning, I would I would like to bring the car more towards the middle, so that's why having that hose set up over right in that corner would be a little more ideal. Once I um, can rearrange my uh, garage once again to have the pressure washer uh, being stored over there, right? But for right now, um, there's some like stuff over there in the way, so I may just have to uh, suck it up for right now and just uh, drag out the pressure washer. And then put it over there and then set it up um, but at least that's one less step um, from the fact that i have to drag out the hose and then put it right here now i can just get the hose um, already connected into the pressure washer because it's already right there so i don't have to drag it out anymore and then um, i can just use of course um, this other stainless steel hose that i had lining around i even had this handy little um male connector right here because this hose is both female so i have this male connector right here to uh kind of help that and i'm buying more part more um hose parts to even really refine um the, the, the process so hopefully everything will work out whoops everything will work out but um on that part just like how everything worked out on the um the house of rags stuff so yeah now you can kind of see a, a hint of what rinses washes out feature in the video including of course the the famous DIY detail rinses wash we got detail codes nemesis rinses wash optimum no rinse right the the og right and then uh oh this is the shampoo excuse me we got uh, the rinse is rinse less wash from clean hero right from armor detail which apparently uh, is going through a little bit of revision apparently with at least with the smell so I'll have to definitely go back and forth with the gallon and the uh, 16 ounce bottle just to make sure because this is a more recent one so we'll see about that so yeah so we'll have more um, Rinses washes featured for that special video, and uh, you'll definitely see what I'm gonna do with them. So uh, it's not really a test, uh, you know, like that big test of all oh, which one's the best rinses wash, but it'll be a fun video that I wanted to do for a while now, and then now we're 
uh, one step closer to doing so. And yeah, the big hurdle is over, right? Uh, we, di we did get the clean versus wash, the detail code versus wash, right? So yeah, pretty happy altogether uh, when it comes to that situation now, you know, that's all over. For, uh, officially, and I want to say thank uh, thank you again for um, to House of Rags once again, including of course Eddie Cologne and Jamie the Cleaner to help out my situation, and uh, especially especially with Eddie, he was the one talking to me most. Um, <clears throat> but I know Jamie also stepped in in the comments, saying you know hey uh, sorry about your experience and all that stuff. So um, they've been very accommodating. And they've been very nice to me and very kind. And in fact, you know, again, that gallon of uh, spray sealant, you know, it was, on, it was in the house. So, yeah, you know, I just wanted to really uh, express my gratitude um, again, again and again because I, I just really feel that way, you know. So um, thank you for your service. And I hope to uh, see um, more stuff from you guys in the future. Uh, good luck on your endeavor, and uh, I will definitely step uh, step in as much as I can to support the House of Rags. Uh, I will do my best and my utmost, right? <laughs> and, um, you know, the next thing I think I want definitely is um, pretty much the the rags, right? It's like, where, where are the rags at? You know, you guys, you guys are called the House of Rags, you know? <laughs> but I understand there's a lot going on. So, uh, I, or at least I'm assuming anyway, so, I'll, you know, uh, I'm not in the rush for that, for that particularly, but, you know, house of rags, no rags, you know. <laughs> all right. Anyways, that's all I got. Um, thank you very much for this uh, journal. You know, this is supposed to be something for me to blabber on about when it comes to detailing or car washing. That is the point of these videos. You know, I, I saw that one comment, you know, and... Um, I'm just like, really? You know, it's like, you see it that it's 40 minutes, you know what I mean? And it says journal. I mean, what do you, what do you expect? All right. But that's just my perspective perspective. Anyway, uh, one last thing I did want to say though, is that I did not expect for that video of me talking about the situation over, you know, reaching, uh, almost to a thousand views. I, I did not expect that, you know, it's just, it was just something for me to get off my chest and I, um, it it, it um, definitely reached to the pre people that uh, definitely mattered, which was you know Eddie and Jamie the cleaner. So def definitely, again, shout outs and thank you for um, being very active on the social media side of things. But yeah, um, uh, I, I guess you know um, people have been also commenting on their experiences and such, and are, and providing their perspective on what's what the, what they think is going on too, which is interesting. You know, there's a lot of like, oh yeah, it's the UPS's fault, but also it's also the fault of the warehouse stuff. It's it's very interesting. You know, I, I'm definitely getting uh, more perspectives than I thought I would get. So that's so that's good. If you have any comments about House of Rags, uh, again, like what are your experiences thus far? Leave me down below. Uh, I'd love to read them. And then uh, look at the like, thumbs up, whatever, and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this, including detailing stuff. I also play games as well, um, especially with the Hoyo stuff, uh, Star Rail, Zenless Zone, and Genshin. And uh, soon enough, I'll be playing uh, Shadow the Hedgehog as well, the, what do you call it, the Sonic Shadow Generations remake. So I'll definitely be on that one soon enough. Uh, so I'll definitely look forward to that. And maybe I'll get some videos out there uh, relating to that. We'll see. But I'll, I'll definitely be trying to stream on YouTube for that game. But anyways, thank you guys so much. Uh, I'll let you guys go now. And remember, simple and clean. Shout out.